Good afternoon. This is Philip Striebel, Senior Commodities Broker at RGL Futures, uh, with your weekly metals commentary here for Tuesday, September 3rd. Looking at the metals, the gold market is still continuing to grind higher. Um, the basic you know, premise behind it is still this safety play, which I think is being a little bit overstretched. A lot of people are still concerned about Syria. We're seeing uh, basically Obama in the United States. They have been ostracized. Our only ally right now is France, which France has the, they, they tend to stick with the U.S. and then they'll pull out last minute or they seem to be one foot in, one foot out on any of these uh, warlike developments that occur. So really it's us by ourselves right now. And Obama had reached out to John Boehner and Nancy Pelosi, uh, and basically he's trying to rally the troops. Those guys, like Boehner, is supporting Obama right now, but it's I think it's pretty much for him to get some kind of budget pass later on in the year. So this is really a lot of people playing their cards right just to support Obama. Now, what will most likely happen is nothing will occur with this Syria. The whole thing will fall apart. You'll most likely see crude oil prices start to decline. You'll also see gold and silver start to decline. Um, silver prices have been lagging gold significantly. The reason is is because gold is held as a reserve currency. Um, you know, it can be held by central banks where silver cannot. If you start looking at some of the other metals, the base metals, um, look at platinum, palladium. Palladium's been pulling back quite a bit, and what it is is it is this, um, un, you know, people are unsure as far as what's going to happen. So you start to see, you know, the automotive sector over in Europe start to slow down. People don't want to go out and buy a car, especially if, you know, they're concerned that their country may be going to war of some sort. So you see in palladium prices pull back. 712 is a key level. If you look at the chart, it's like formed this like almost like an M starting. And 712, if we break that on a closing basis, uh, it could have a lot farther to go to the downside. Otherwise, a good bounce right there might warrant a move back up to uh, those recent highs. Same thing with the platinum market as well. Copper, it loves this 330 area. What it does is we trade up in a 330. Then um, some fundamental data you know, out of China that they may be slowing down or some stockpiles on the LME are reaching new highs. And then you see copper pr prices start to decline. So the good news is, is that most of these commodities are trading based upon the actual fundamentals that are out there. They're looking at supply, they're looking at demand, um, and the prices are moving in you know, conjunction to what those are. It's not like gold prices are selling off like they were before even though the Fed was embarking on quantitative easing. You see a lot of things that like don't make sense. This is at least these markets are making sense right now. So uh, if you want me to help you make more sense of it, give me a call at 1-800-438-4805. Remember that futures and option trading does involve risk of loss and it may not be suitable to all investors. Good luck and good trading.